one of the best ways to control a transistor is with the voltage divider. So this trim pot, a type of potentiometer, is connected to both the positive power rail and to the negative power rail. This is a 9 volt battery. So we can get a voltage out of this. Right now it's at 0 volts because it's towards ground. Remember our circuit ends at ground. So we have a 0 volt difference. We have to get more positive to raise the voltage. Now there's a protective resistor that uh, comes to the base of the transistor. So this will set the voltage that will control the transistor. And now I'll slowly turn the voltage up and you see at some point the transistor comes on and as I turn it up a little more it gets brighter and then at some point it's as bright as it will get no matter how high I turn the voltage. So to begin with we're at the cutoff point. Uh, bipolar junction transistor this is a 2N2222 is normally off. And right now it's in the off position, also known as the cutoff mode, or uh, cutoff region, however you want to say it. But uh, it's uh, cutoff. Now we turn it up a bit, and you'll notice at some point it comes on, but it's not as bright as it can be. This is called the active region. We have a little play there. And then at some point it gets about as bright as it can, and uh, we get to a point of saturation, no matter how much I raise the current to the base of the transistor, the LED won't get any brighter. The transistor is letting as much current through as it can. So now the rest of this video is going to be on voltages. So we have two voltages that we're interested in. The base voltage relative to ground and the collector voltage relative to ground. Right now I'm measuring the base voltage. So there's really only one thing we're interested in when it comes to the base voltage. Since the uh, bipolar junction transistor is a semiconductor, it needs a certain amount of voltage before it'll even start uh, conducting uh, as far as the base is concerned. So that's all we're really worried about when it comes to voltages. The transistor is off right now until we get to about 0.6 volts in that range. And then it starts conducting, the transistor can turn on and start doing things. So that's really the only uh, concern about the voltage at the base is getting enough voltage for the transistor to even turn on to begin with. After that it's all about current for the most part. So now the other voltage we're interested in is the collector voltage. You can see we have the red uh, jumper here which heads to the red probe of the multimeter plugged into where the collector of the transistor is. It's also where the cathode of the LED is. So what we're measuring right now is the voltage of the battery. It's a 9 volt battery but between the battery and the meter is this LED. This LED drops about 1.5 volts from the circuit. From the uh, uh, positive rail here through the collector emitter to the ground. It drops about 1.5 volts. So that's what we're measuring right now, the voltage there, the battery minus the LED. But in any case, right now, as I said, we have the full voltage we're going to have. That's because the transistor is not conducting. The voltage can build up since uh, the current has nowhere to go. So we're going to turn this up. That's the cutoff region right there. We're going to turn it up until the transistor starts conducting a little, as I just showed in the, the last clip. And now you can see, once it starts conducting, voltage drops rapidly. That's because current's passing through the transistor easier, and so it can't build up a voltage. And uh, you'll see, it, when I get to about a third of the way, to about half of the way, uh, right now I keep letting more and more current to the base. That's permitting more current to flow from collector to emitter. And you see, about about this point down here we're getting to about where the voltage isn't dropping anymore the transistor is really conducting about as well as it can even though I've turned it up really far it's still about the half a volt range and that's because now we're in the saturation area saturations where the transistor is conducting about as well as it ever will even though you keep applying more current to the base 